Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful the first kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful body, right under the elbow. Big 
punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Just unable to quite find that range. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Nice punch there by Lee. Slips the punch. And they separate. Oh, big left hand there. Get in and attack that leg hard. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, what a kick. Oh, straight right. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Single collar tie here. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Nice punch lands over the top. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lee's kick to the body here, that one appeared to be blocked. <laughs> round two is next. Uh, you won that last round. He was all over you. He was better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Ooh, what a punch. 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Look at him drive his shin into his own body. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, huge head kick. some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Boy, Ty Plop. Nice kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Whoa! He's got him hurt here. He's oh. getting lit up right now. Unbelievable. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Lee's got the full mount. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Whoa! Very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. What a round. Hey, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward.
I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. So inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice right hand. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. I need you to move. Scramble. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. The speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Look at the control. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he caught the kicks. And they separate. Straight right hand now just misses. a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Big kick lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, oh that diving punch landed. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All 
right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Punch to the body is blocked. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. I'm still